Guys, it is time to get back on the living room project with some seriousness. And our first task is to be to finish up the ceiling. So what we're gonna need to do is make some more boards. We need to take boards that look like this right here and make them look more like this right here. I've got 13 boards here on the back of the truck. These boards have been stacked and stickered inside of the house for two weeks to acclimate to the inside of the house. And what I wanna do is put these on the sawmill and then put them in the planer and then get the router and get some shiplap edges on these boards so we can put them on the ceiling. Now, what I've done is I've sorted these boards out. There was a whole bunch of different widths of boards that went into the house. And I've sorted these right here out so that I can minimize waste. Our finished boards need to be nine inches wide so I've sorted these out so that I won't have to shave a whole lot off of these. So that one's about 10 right there. This one's about 10 right here. This one right here is much wider, but you can see there's quite a bit of weighing on it. So I would have to take a lot more off of that anyway. So that's how I've sorted these out. Let's go ahead and get them on the mill and see if we can get them edged. Now the first thing that I want to do is make sure the deck of the mill is level. So I'm going to do two boards right here at first and then I'm going to put the two cut edges together to make sure they butt up flat against each other. If the mill is not level, if it's dipping in the middle just a little bit or if it's bowed up in the middle just a little bit, what will happen is I'll either have a gap in the middle of those boards or I'll have two gaps at either end of those boards. I want to make sure before I do all of these that the mill is set up properly. Now we'll just put these two edges, these two cut edges together and see if they're flat. It's kind of tough to tell in the camera here, but this end is touching, the other end is touching down there. And in the middle there is a gap, but it's like a 32nd or a 16th, uh, somewhere between those two measurements. Uh, I'm gonna go with it. I don't think I'll be able to get a whole lot closer on the sawmill. Now I'm gonna put the two cut edges back facing up and I'm going to take a pencil and put a mark here just kind of down in two or three places well four places I guess and this is going to let me know or make sure that I know that this edge is the cut edge so when I put it on the table saw I'll put this edge up against the fence Next step is gonna be to run these through the planer. I'll run them through on both sides and that does two things. It cleans up the surface of these boards. As you can see, these boards are very dingy and dirty right now. And it's gonna clean them up to looking more like this and make them a whole lot thinner so that they'll match the boards that are already on the ceiling.
course I get some really nice boards out of this, but I also get some really nice shavings to put in my nesting boxes. Well guys, at this point, if I can get these straight, we've made a pretty drastic change here. We've gone from this type of board right here, very grungy, very dirty, very um, crooked, I guess you could say. And we have turned those into this right here, very straight, very flat, uh, clean. You can see the grain in it. This is a particularly pretty board right here. But uh, yeah, lots of good progress there, but there's still one step left. Now the next step here is to put a joint on the edges of these boards here. Now, if you see this right here, this is is just a standard butt joint right here and you could stick all these up on the ceiling just exactly like this and they'd look okay that's what we did in the uh, kitchen on the ceiling in there and in my son's room as well and it, it works fine but it's just one step above fine when you do the shiplap joint like this so these boards need to be able to fit together on the ceiling just like that and that just gives you a much much better look and in order to achieve that I use this router with just a standard rabbit bit on it and it's adjusted just right so that it gets down to the proper depth on this board so that the two boards will fit together evenly. Um, and this is not a fancy router bit. I just took a chance and got a $15 bit from tractors not tractor supply worse harbor freight and so far it's done pretty good so let's um finish these up <laughs> One of the things that I have to do on this project is create a groove right here on this board and that's to accommodate the joist hangers that are on the beam in the middle of the room. If I don't do that, this board's going to be very crooked up there. It just won't work. Probably should plug my saw in too.
Ow. I'm kind of like a horse right now that sees the stable and I knows he's almost home because I'm almost done here and I'm working a little too fast and I met these at the same spot. So this has got to come down. Uh, like six nails short. Hey, that looks nice. Yeah. Those are looks, bigger than the ones on the ceiling. Yeah, they are, fan. and they're made out of metal too. Or the ones on the on the ceiling. No, thing. those are plastic. Really? The ceiling fan ones are plastic. These are metal. Do they come with light bulbs? Uh, it's not looking like it. <laughs> Surely it comes with light bulbs. Oh my goodness, there. I bet it's up under here somewhere. They didn't send us light bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we. That, that's why we got it on discount. Uh, that's a bummer. I'm thinking we can just put one light bulb in one of the sockets to see if, at least see if I've got it wired right. That works. You want to go grab one? I'll test it. Is it supposed to wobble like this? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think this is. You gotta get it straight. <laughs> no, this is this supposed to wobble. Yeah. I'm too short. <laughs> <laughs> we have it. Oh, See, it's not just me. It wasn't me. You can't do it Why either. Why wouldn't it go in there? Is there like a law against incandescent bulbs these days? Yeah, you try it. Watch her get it perfectly. <laughs> she does go to college. Don't, don't do it. Don't force it if it doesn't go. Let's step. Okay. Why don't uh, you trying to see where the lines go. Can you get like a fluorescent one to see if there's like some conspiracy against incandescent bulbs? Yeah, it does. That one fits. They've got it rigged so you can't use incandescents. That's crazy. Would you like to do the honors with the light switch? Sure. Ah, yes. <laughs> so guys, before you hit post on your furious comment about the incandescent bulbs, this was actually an LED and I don't know what in the world we were doing here, but we did manage to make it fit right over here and it, it works fine. Uh, it's just kind of set up like an incandescent. So I thought it was an incandescent. There's no conspiracy against incandescents apparently. Um, so this is really what I wanted to get done today. I wanted to get this, uh, these ceiling boards in. We saw yesterday that I was able to get some extra 
extra of those uh, planed and edged and all the things that needed to be done to get them ready for the seal. And I already had a bunch of them on the inside of the house stacked in here. And I had just enough. I've got, looks like I got five total boards left um so it turned out really really well and i'm very very happy to get this part of the project over with so the next part of the project is going to be to start working on the walls you can see i'll probably saw a few times there's this strip up here at the top of this wall that's going to be a challenge because the boards are not even right there and i'm not really sure how i'm going to deal with that but i'll figure it out at some point i want to get this back wall done right here the biggest project is going to be that window putting in new windows over there and boards on that wall and then this kitchen wall as well but this is this is major progress and I'm very very happy to uh, to at least get this part of it done so am I. and my wife is too she's over there she wants to do jumping jacks but she's or she's restraining herself oh, she's shaking now she doesn't want to do jumping jacks she's thinking about jumping jacks in her head maybe um, so anyway that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching I hope to continue posting remodel videos pretty frequently because I want to go ahead and get this get this moving so thank you all for watching i'll see you all in the next one i guess i should explain this video seems kind of incomplete with these wonky bulbs up here but this did not come with light bulbs and uh, we're going to go get some uh, like some led edison bulbs or something to put in this thing but uh, i don't have those now so we'll try to put those in on the next video